In this video, I will show you how you can run the full Ubuntu desktop only from your RAM. The benefit is that you will get a high-speed operating system. The entire root file system will be loaded into memory and that means that every file access will be extremely fast, almost instantaneous. There will be no hard drive latency because there is no hard drive to read from, everything will be inside RAM and RAM is very fast. The drawback is that every file you change or create inside the root file system will be saved only in memory. By default the changes will not be saved back to the hard drive and that means that after you restart the changes will be lost. Which could be a good thing if you're just trying things out and you're concerned that the changes might break your system. Another thing is that you will need a lot of RAM, because the entire root file system needs to fit inside. This basically means that if the root partition has 10 GB of used space, you will need at least 10 GB of RAM. Plus your system will probably need a few more GB to run properly, which gives us about 12 GB or so, probably more. First I will show you how you can start the Ubuntu Live environment from your RAM and afterwards I will show you how you can start the full installed Ubuntu desktop from your RAM. But before we start, welcome to the channel. Here you can find topics about Linux, Docker, game dev or software development in general or short agile dev art. If you like that kind of content then give a like, subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified when I release new videos. All the links from this video are down in the description and also down there are the timestamps so you can skip any part if you want. I am now here inside the Ubuntu Live environment which is running from a live USB drive. This one is not entirely loaded into memory so let's check the system monitor. Here you can see this one is using 1.4 GB and if I check the file system we have two devices, the second one is just a loop device, this one is not so important. The first one is the live USB drive, so this one is important and this one has 5 GB. 5 GB is a lot more than we have currently in memory, so obviously not everything is loaded, but let's see how we can change that. Let's close this one. First we need to go inside the grub menu, so let's restart this one. Restart. Once we are inside the grub menu, pre-select try or install Ubuntu and press E. Then you should see something like this. Now move the cursor between quiet and splash and write space to RAM. That's it. Now press F10 and it should boot into the Ubuntu live environment. So let's do this. We are now back inside the live environment. Let's check the system monitor. And now look at this. We have 6.4 gigabytes inside RAM. Now in this case the entire root file system is mounted in memory and that means that we can also unplug the live USB drive. So let's try it out. I will now unplug it. Everything seems to work. Let's try to open Firefox. Firefox is also working. Let's try LibreOffice. Working as well. Let's see again the system monitor. Now we are at 7.3 GB but we also loaded a few heavy applications. So far everything seems to work. Now if I launch install Ubuntu, the cool thing about this one is that you can now override everything that is currently on the live USB drive. So basically you don't need two USB drives anymore to install Ubuntu on a USB drive. You can just override the existing USB drive. Since everything is in RAM, everything will also be installed from RAM. And that's really cool. In a previous video I showed you how you can install Ubuntu on a USB drive. So if you are interested, the link to the video is up there or down in the description. Now I showed you how you can load the live environment inside your RAM. Let's see how we can load the full installed Ubuntu inside RAM. I am now inside the fully installed Ubuntu 23.04. We installed this one in a previous video and this one is running now from a USB drive. So let's check what we have. Currently I'm using about 1.4 GB of RAM, which is typical for Ubuntu. I have 16 GB available, so this is the limit for my machine. Let's check the file systems. The first one is my root partition and this one is important. This one has 11 GB in use. If we want to run this full Ubuntu instance from RAM only, then we need to fit all those 11 GB into RAM. In addition, we still need to have room to run this one actually. So my 16 GB would be the minimum to run this one only from RAM. So let's try it out. Let's close this one and open the terminal. First let's make a backup of etcfs tab. You can find all the commands down in the description. Then let's edit this one. Gnome text editor. 
inside here find the root partition and now delete the first part and write none. Then instead of x4, we want tmpfs and we want defaults 0 and 0. That's okay. Let's save it and close that. Now let's go to user share init ramfs dash tools scripts. In here, let's make a backup of the local script and let's edit the local script. Now in here, search for mount root. It should look somehow like this. So this line right here mounts the root partition and we want to change that. So let's make a temporary directory. I will call it root ram tmp. Then we want to mount the root partition inside this new directory and mount the original inside ram. Now let's go inside there and let's copy everything that is in the temporary folder, which is the whole partition, into the root directory, which is in ram. And finally, unmount the temporary directory. That's it. Let's save that. We can close this one. Now we need to rebuild the init ramfs. I will call this one dash ram. And of course, we need to execute this one as sudo. This can take some time. Perfect. Now let's restore the old local script, of course, with sudo. We are almost done. And the only thing left to do is to edit the boot grub grub.config. Here we want to create a new grub menu entry. So scroll down till you see menu entry. This is the first Ubuntu menu entry. So let's copy that and make a new one. Let's call this one Ubuntu RAM. And down here where it says init rd, writes the name of the file we created. In my case, it's dash RAM and save it. So with this, we created a new menu entry inside the grub menu. It's called Ubuntu RAM. We can close this one. That's about it. We are done with this one. Now let's reboot the machine and let's see if we can find the new grub entry. I will do the same thing as well and I'll see you there. Now after the reboot, I'm back inside the grub menu and as you can see, there is our entry, Ubuntu RAM. Now press enter and let's see. After a few minutes, we are now in. Let's check what we have. So under resources, we can see that I'm using 14.2 gigabytes of 16 at 87% capacity. So the whole operating system, all the files, everything that was under root is now inside RAM. Now I don't even have two full gigabytes to operate. It looks like that 16 gigabytes is a tight fit. Here we can see only one partition is mounted and this is the boot partition. Well, let's unmount it. Open disks. Here it is. That's the one. Let's unmount it. Is this one mounted? No, it isn't. And that means that I can unplug the USB drive. So let's unplug it. No USB drive anymore. And no file systems anymore. So everything we do here, we do in RAM. Let's see if everything is still working. Well, seems okay to me. Let's open that one. All right. Maybe Firefox. YouTube seems to work just fine. Yeah. This works without problems. So Firefox and YouTube works. Let me just check the system monitor. Whoa, 15.5 gigabytes used. Only 500 megabytes left. Well, yes, Firefox is loading all the videos into the memory. So this was actually expected. Even if you try to create some files, let's say in the home directory or anywhere else, and if the file has 100 megabytes or so, it will occupy 100 megabytes of your RAM because everything is in RAM. Since I'm now at 95% capacity, I don't want to push this one too far because if the system goes out of memory, it will crash, of course. And of course, everything you do or change here will not be saved anywhere. So after the restart, everything will be lost. But while this is working in RAM, you have a high speed operating system there, no hard drive latency, because there is no hard drive. And that's all for this video. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, if you like my content, if you think it's helpful, then please give a like, subscribe. I really appreciate it. It makes the channel grow. So thank you very much. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.